Hey friends, one of the most watched videos on my YouTube channel is actually about how to stimulate your vagus nerve using a TENS unit. But since I put up that video, I received a bunch of questions from my viewers and I wanna make sure that everybody's crystal clear on how to use a TENS unit. And then I'm also gonna be showing you this bad boy right here, which is a $700 TENS unit from Europe. And I'll be letting you know whether the results that I received from this TENS unit were any different than the ones that I received from the $70 TENS unit that I was using in my original video. If you're new to my channel, we focus on improving your health by improving your heart rate variability and increasing your vagal tone. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. What exactly is this vagus nerve stimulation via a TENS unit? Basically, a TENS unit sends a mild electric shock towards the location on the ear or neck or wherever it's meant to be placed and it stimulates your vagus nerve that way. And what makes this very exciting for me and the people that have actually had good results with this treatment is that the vagus nerve is kind of like this central place where if you stimulate it, it could solve a bunch of problems or health conditions at one time rather than okay, I have a stomach issue, so I'm gonna take a pill for my stomach, and then I have a lung issue, and I'm gonna take a pill for my lungs. You get the idea. Question one is, which TENS unit should I buy? So first of all, please do not go on Amazon and buy like a, one of those $20 super cheapo TENS units that nobody out there is recommending you buy and expect it to not fry your vagus nerve when you start using it. The reason being is you want a TENS unit that has very specific ways to increase intensity by very small increments, such as 1 MA. Now, if your TENS unit intensity increases by magnitudes of like 10 or more MA, that's gonna be a huge shock that's gonna get sent to your vagus nerve. So we don't want that. What we wanna do is we wanna use the TENS units that have been proven to be safe for a majority of people. Now, where do you get this list? My recommendation would be to actually go to Don Wiley's Facebook group. I will link this in the video description. It's free, it's a great group, and she keeps an up-to-date list of which TENS units you can use to stimulate your vagus nerve. However, what I'll do also for the people that don't have Facebook, I am just gonna include a couple of TENS units that I know people have had success with, so check the video description for this information. Next question is, should I be stimulating my left side or my right side? Now with this, I wanna give you like the absolute latest information that I know of. And I wanna be very clear. In the past, it was a very scary proposition to stimulate anything except for your left side. Because what happened was, they used the same information that they used for vagus nerve stimulation implants that literally would go into your body and directly on the inside of your neck. Now those would cause heart issues when stimulated on the right side. However, what we're doing here is transcutaneous stimulation on the outside of the body. So new research is suggesting that it's safe to do both left and right side. Now me personally, until it's been proven without a shadow of a doubt, that right side ear stimulation is safe, I would suggest just sticking to the left ear. What are some of the side effects that we should be in the lookout for to let us know that we are stimulating with too much intensity? So one of the easiest things you can do is get a heart rate and heart rate variability monitor. You can check out my video that I did of LEAF versus Polar H10, which are both really, really great options. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to continuously monitor your heart rate in particular and watch to make sure that it's not just continuing to increase and creep upward. That's a bad sign. If it's actually going down, that would be a good sign. Now, some other things that you can look out for, especially if you're very much in tune with your body, are things like uh, you'll start to potentially notice some sweating, um, dizziness, chest tightness, uh, a little bit of problems breathing. So those are things to really be on the lookout for. That, that's your vagus nerve screaming at you saying, hey, the intensity you're using right now is too much for me. 
lower the intensity, wait a couple of days, give me a little break and try again. What are some general generic settings that I can try to use on my TENS unit if, for example, I can't find a particular study for the health condition I'm trying to treat and I just want to see if general basic stimulation of the TENS unit will improve my health condition. So based on user feedback and what I've seen in, in various studies, a good starting point is a pulse width of 200 microseconds. However, as I mentioned earlier, this is the standard. And if you're somebody who's already getting side effects or who is prone to getting side effects from treatments, go ahead and start with something really low, such as 50 microseconds for, let's say, a total time of 30 seconds. Give it a couple of days, make sure you're not getting side effects, and then slowly start to build up as to where you're getting about 20 minutes per session and you're doing 200 microseconds that I mentioned earlier. Now, in terms of pulse rate, usually what's used is between 20 and 30 hertz. Oh, and always use constant or normal current flow. Don't use burst mode or any of those other things for vagus nerve stimulation. That is meant for when you're using a TENS unit for, let's say, a muscle pain. Not what we're looking for. What should I do if I've been using the TENS unit for some time and all of a sudden it stopped giving me good results? Well, one thing you can do is, for example, is to mix up the pulse rate from, let's say, 20 to 25 or 30, you know, just to keep your vagus nerve on its toes. But I think most people will not need this at all, and you can just find the settings that work for you and just stick with those for eternity. So now we can finally review this super fancy TENS unit here called the NeuroSim. So the NeuroSim is a TENS unit that was created by the people that made the Parasim, which was one of the first clinically validated TENS units used specifically for vagus nerve stimulation and not just random TENS units that you would find out there that were used for muscle pain. Now the cool thing is Parasim was actually clinically validated to help conditions such as long COVID and others. Now the main difference between the Parasim and the Neurosim is that the Neurosim, you don't actually get to change the pulse rate or the pulse width at all. It's preset for you. So if you're somebody whose chronic health condition is just so bad that your brain fog would not allow you to properly set up a TENS unit, you don't have the mental capacity to go searching for different frequency settings, this is the perfect device for you. All you're doing is turning it on starting the session and then adjusting the intensity here. So by intensity, I mean the MAs that I mentioned earlier, where it's one MA is a little bit of a strength and then two is a little bit stronger, three is stronger, etc. So basically, as I've mentioned in some of my other videos, I'm somebody who has not had any results from ear-based vagus nerve stimulation, which makes me very sad because so many people have had good results and I'm like, ah, why not me? but I have had some results from neck-based vagus nerve stimulation. But still, I wanted to make this video because I know there's such a huge interest in ear-based vagus nerve stimulation, and I wanted to check whether investing in a very pricey TENS unit would give me any sort of a different results that a $70 TENS unit would when I was first experimenting with it months ago. Well, to be honest with you guys, no. I've tried this thing out for over 30 days, and I've had absolutely zero results, the same way I've had zero results with the original TENS unit that I tried, which cost me $70 to try. In my opinion, if a $70 TENS unit is not gonna work for you, a super expensive TENS unit probably is not gonna work either. So go ahead and save your money, and if you wanna just experiment, get a $70 approximately TENS unit, see if it helps you, give it a shot for about a month. If not, then unfortunately this treatment is just probably not for you. All right, guys, hope this was helpful. Hope I was able to save you a good chunk of money on the NeuroSim TENS unit and wishing you the best in your vagus nerve stimulation journey.